Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add products to your homepage on Big Commerce. And there's a couple different ways you can do that. Before we get started, my name's Cal. I'm a developer and a store owner just like you. And if you find this video helpful, subscribe so you can see more ways to grow your store every week. Okay, so let me share my screen. And this is just base cornerstone. This isn't anything you know crazy or dialed up or anything like that yet. Um, you guys may have like a carousel or something. Uh, on here, this is just kind of the state of this store as it is. Basically, you can see that there's already some new products showing there, and uh, it's just pulling whatever the newest products are that have been loaded into my store. So there's three feeds that are built into big commerce stores right out the gate. One is the featured feed, one is the new feed, and one is the popular products feed. Okay, so the new products feed will automatically just show whatever products were last added to the store. There's no control over it other than it's just showing you the newest stuff. So if you don't like that, you should turn it off. The popular products feed will automatically show the products that have the most sales. Now, if your store isn't launched yet, then none of your products have sales. So none of them can be the most popular products. So you can't actually turn you can't actually see anything with that until you start selling some stuff. The featured products feed, super, super useful because you can manually choose which products you want to feature, and then that'll show up. So let me start out by showing you guys how to make sure that you have these turned on and where you find the settings for them. Um, to get there, you're going to go into the customizer, which let me go back out of here and I'll show you how to get here. Mm -hmm. So in the back end of your big commerce store, just click storefront themes and then customize. And this, you know, these settings can be a little bit different from theme to theme. I'm showing you guys on the cornerstone theme, which is what most people in big commerce use and it's what most developers will recommend. And most developers will build on cornerstone is just really, really good. Even though it doesn't look that great out of the gate, it's very clean upable if that's a word, which is not, but it's very clean upable and it's very minimal. So it runs fast right out the gate, which is really nice. Okay. So you can see that there's, when I come in here, there's a bunch of, you know, widget fields that I have in here and it looks crazy. You can click preview to see what the page actually looks like. So right now I just have a menu and I have a new products feed. Let's go back to the design tab. We're going to click on this little theme styles, art palette, whatever you want to call that and go to homepage on cornerstone and scroll down to where it says products and here is where you can decide how many products you want to be showing as featured most popular and new products so right now this is set to five so it shows well it's the the styling is showing only four but there's a total of five in that feed which is why i can scroll over to the left if i clicked preview anyway there's the fifth one and then it ends after the five so with it set to show four but have five you may want to you know show even more than that just so that it's worth the side scroller right and if you don't want the side scroller right then you can change that down to the number that actually shows which is four and then i think the arrows will go away at least in cornerstone so they did um now, again, most popular products is turned on because it's set to four. There's just none to show because nothing's been sold yet. So a lot of people are actually going to turn that off. And you can do that by just clicking on the number and then moving it to disable. And number of featured products. Let's go ahead and leave that set to four. And I'll show you how to feature a product real quick. All right, so I published it. It should be showing up to four items on the featured list on the homepage. And I clicked out of that. So I'm gonna go up here to products and products view. And these little stars next to each one is how you feature a product. So pretty easy. Um, just star a whole bunch of them. There's a fancier way where you can star things where if you show like a filtered list, like Let's just filter this to, oops, let's click search and say, we only want to feature historical maps, right? So I'm going to choose historical maps and click search. And that has basically filtered this to a historical maps view. 
and now I can either star a bunch of them or I can click the uh, arrow go to bulk edit and from the bulk edit screen you can star things super super quick oh I forgot to hit confirm but you can come here click featured and then drag it down like a spreadsheet to star all that stuff and so now I have a lot of featured products that are chosen I can't truly show that many because I think the max that it'll actually feed into the home page is 25. Um, I don't know if you can select more than 25, but 25 is more than enough, really. Okay, so I have a bunch more featured, so I'm going to click back into Storefront and then Themes because I want to see this actually happening. And then I'm going to show you guys one other way to get products onto the home page that I think is a little bit cooler, potentially. The featured the featured products is, is actually pretty nice and you can feature things through the CSV which makes it faster. There's, there's a lot of good things about the featured products. And one thing about these two methods, uh, these methods, the, you know, the default feeds, is that these product cards are styled exactly the same as all of the other product cards in your store. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to match perfectly, which is really, really nice. So you can see now that I'm showing featured products and new products and that looks great. But let me show you the other way to do it. So let me come in here, click on home page, and I'm actually going to just disable both of these so that now there's no automatic feeds showing. Click on preview so you can see there's nothing on my sleeve, nothing in my hat, and I'm going to click up to go to this widgets thing up here, widget thingamabobs. And one of the default widgets is called product set. Now there's additional product set widgets available in our app, which is Epic Page Builder Widgets. That adds even more widgets to your big commerce store than what you see here. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add this default one that Big Commerce gives you for free. And you can see, okay, comes in there. It's trying to show me four products, I guess, but they all say like just product name, product name, product name. It's because this is all placeholder text. So what I'm going to do is click add a product and I'm going to just type in something to search for, for a product. And then I'm going to click to select it and that went pretty well. So I'm going to click the plus sign to add a second product. And I'm going to just search for something there too. And then a th fourth one or <laughs> fourth one <laughs> i'm gonna learn to count um a third one now now let's do the fourth one i'm gonna do the fourth one after the third one that's what i'm gonna do and there you go um, there's additional elements down here where you can say like eh, maybe don't show the brand you know maybe don't show the price or something or maybe i want to style how the brand looks and make it you know red or something um, there's a lot of things that you can do with this and I really like using the widgets for this because you can you can have as many of these rows as you want you can I mean you can make them look like a big grid you can move them around and they're completely 100% manual in your selection of which products you want to choose there and so there's a lot that you can do really easily really quickly and without code which is awesome so this is actually my favorite way Featured widgets are my second favorite way, and I pretty much use those two things for all of this type of stuff, period. Um, now the drawback of doing it with the widgets is the styling of the cards is not exactly the same as what you get in, um, in the other feeds, because the other feeds are gonna match your product cards, whereas these are nothing to do with the, the store-wide product cards, these are cards that were built for a widget so they might just not match the code hopefully that makes sense actually let me turn back on the uh, home page featured widget so you can see the difference and see what I'm talking about okay, so featured products right up here at the top uh, and then the widget product feeds right here next to it and so you can see they're, they're just different and that might be okay I think you're probably gonna want to only use widgets if you're gonna use widgets and if you're not gonna use widgets then featured works pretty good so basically side by side they're gonna look weird because they're styled different 
if the rest of your product cards inside your store are styled like this and your homepage ones are styled like that, eh, to be honest, you, nobody but you and me is probably going to notice. So it's probably okay. All right, you guys, I really appreciate you guys being here. Hopefully that this was helpful for you and be sure to reach out to us at Epic Design Labs if you need any help. Join our community at jointecommercegrowth.com. Thanks so much and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys need help with and that might be my next video. See you on the next one.